This is Bruce Jansen with the Global Medical News Network, reporting from Chicago at the annual Scientific Congress of the American Heart Association, where I've got news from Brazil. Uh, I'm here with Dr. Otavio Barwanger, who uh, just uh, presented really a superbly crafted study, I have to say, on uh, acetylcysteine as a preventive for contrast-induced nephropathy in angiographic procedures. A tried but not true therapy, uh, a huge study, by far the biggest ever, more than 2,300 randomized placebo-controlled patients. What did you find? Well, we find no difference between acetylcysteine and placebo, and that's reassuring because sometimes a negative trial is important because this, uh, there, there was an open question, it was an important problem, and lots of people were using, there were some expenses to the government, etc. So we were interested in answering this question definitively, and I, and I believe, unfortunately, it didn't work, and now we should shift to other uh, good intervention like testing the best type of hydration, the best type of contrast, avoiding high contrast volumes, and that's all we can do for now. And of course we need more trials in order to find effective interventions to prevent contrast-induced nephropathy, other than acetylcysteine. So uh, your trial, the ACT trial, uh, what impact should it have on clinical practice? Well, I, I believe uh, we expect, you know, the translation from evidence to practice is very complex. It, it is not only based on evidence, but, in, but I believe a lot of people will stop using that. And, and the good thing is, is that you need to give acetylcysteine 24 hours before and 24 hours after the procedure. So especially you will avoid some unnecessary delays in terms of getting the patients into procedures. And expense. Of course. Yeah. I'm speaking with the designated discussant for the ACT trial, Dr. Brahmaji Nalamathu at the University of Michigan. Um, ACT was by no means the first study in this area, was it? No, in fact, it's uh, one of now 47 trials that have been done on this particular topic. You know, it's been 10 years now. I think um, many of us uh, would feel like if we had had something like ACT five years ago, it would have been uh, much nicer. And I don't want to at all insinuate that, you know, that there's any concern about the fact that N-acetylcysteine has now been shown to, to not work. I think this is how science progresses. People throw an idea out there, and then we start to investigate it with more and more rigorous studies. Um, but the key is that the hypothesis being wrong is not an issue. I think what really is a challenge for us as a scientific community is how we can shorten that period of time. So it doesn't take 10 years. It takes five years. And instead of doing 46 independent studies, we organize, you know, ironically, the 46 hospitals in Brazil to, to do a study that's large and definitive and gives us an answer. And so I think that's kind kind of uh, how, how we need to move forward as a, as a community of investigators. This is Bruce Jansen for the Global Medical News Network, live from Chicago at the annual scientific sessions of the AHA.